hi and welcome back to Roulette's Play from Next Door. When we last left off, we got visitors, shall we say, and we had Crowbard open the window, much to my chagrin. And now we are looking for a code about... Hmm... Uh, about the safe. I thought the code about the save would be like with the the books up there when I oh hmm <laughs> keep looking keep looking keep looking keep looking I'm looking at the shit out of this all right apparently there's nothing there okay um uh, maybe Omarasan knows something. Should you really be worrying her about the animal? Probably not a good idea. Furukawa Housing, Omura speaking. Omura-san, it's Masuda. Ah, uh, yes. How can I help you? Um, something happened yesterday. Yes? I think an animal got inside the house last night. I, I didn't see it, but today there were footprints all over the second floor. An animal? Uh, did it do anything? Not really. How did it get in? Uh, through that window on the second floor. Although, I had it closed before I went to bed. Hmm. That's odd. This area doesn't have any history with animals invading homes. Uh, maybe it was a one-time incident. But, uh, just to be safe, be sure to lock everything up tonight, alright? Yeah. Thanks for the help. Ass! You don't need to call him right now. I don't want to worry my mommy, but I do want to call my mommy at the same time. Hmm, nope. Hmm. Ooh. Is that my computer? Aha! A new message? From Daisuki Sen, Mathematics Volume 4, Point, Spiral, Helix, Axis. What is this? Point, spiral, helix, axis. Hmm. It's a chapter about spirals. <laughs> okay. A curve on a plane that winds around a fixed center point at a continuously increasing distance from the point. Um, a three-dimensional curve that turns around an axis at a constant or varying distance while moving parallel to the axis helix. A two-dimensional spiral may be described most easily using polar coordinates, where the radius r is a monotonic continuous function of angle... I have no idea. <laughs> the circle will be regarded as a degenerate case, the function not being strictly monotonic but rather constant. For simple 3D spirals, a third variable, h height, is also a continuous monotonic function for something that looks like an egg that's been cut in half. For example, math is not my strong suit, guys. A conic helix may be defined as a spiral on a conic surface with the distance to the apex an exponential function of the half an egg. The helix and vortex can be viewed as a kind of three-dimensional spiral. Holy crap. The study of spirals in nature has a long history. Christopher Wren observed that many shells form a, logar a logarithmic spiral. Jan Swanerdam observed the common mathematical characteristics of a wide range of shells from helix to sp spirula. And Henry Nottage Mosley described the mathematics of univalue shells. D.R.C. Wentworth Thomas on growth and form gives extensive treatment to these spirals. He describes how shells are formed by rotating a curve, a closed curve around a fixed axis. The shape of the curve remains fixed, but its size grows in a geometric progression. In some shells, such as the Nautilus and Ammonites, the generating curve revolves in a plane perpendicular to the axis, and the shell will form a planar discoid in shape. <laughs> in others, it follows a skew path, forming a helicospiral pattern. Thompson also studies spirals occurring in horns, teeth, claws, and plants. Point, point. Curve on a plane that monitors a fixed 
center point in a continuously increasing, decreasing distance from the point to a three-dimensional curve that turns around an axis at a constant or continuously varying distance while moving parallel to the axis, a helix. Okay, point, spiral, helix, axis. Point, spiral, helix, axis. Uh, I can hear Shavamaru right now in my brain telling me, this is why you should have a notebook. <laughs> Not wrong. Not wrong. All right. I opened up a text program. Okay, so point, spiral, helix, axis. Sorry if you can hear my typing while I'm doing that. Normally try and keep the sounds minimal on that, but do you have a mechanical keyboard, so. All right. Curve on a plane, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so point one, two. Okay, I don't see the word point again. So then, how many times does it say the word spiral? <laughs> two dimensional spiral. Okay, there's one. Another one spiral. There's two of them. Three of them. Four of them on the first page. One on the next page. That's five. Six, eight. Okay, so there's eight of those. Two points, eight spirals. See how many helixes there are. On page two, there is just one, it looks like. Oh, you know what? There might be nine spirals. I may have missed that helico slash, uh, helico dash spiral. I'm going to put eight slash nine. I really don't want to double count. <laughs> Okay, helix, helix, helix. Okay, so three on the front, bringing it to a total of four. And then axis, axis is one, two. Looks like only two on the first page. Looks like four on the second page. Wait, was that four total or four on the second page? Damn it! <laughs> Uh, turns around the axis. So, yeah, so there was two on the first page. Okay, so there was a total of four. Okay, so two eight four four or two nine four four, I think. No one will be seated for the counting the amount of point spiral helix access scene. <laughs> Alright, two. I think I missed one, so I'm gonna go with nine. Four. Four. Yep. I did miss that one. There isn't much inside except a few scattered papers. You pick up a few that have been clipped together. They're newspaper clippings. It's a small article, the kind that sits nowhere near the front page. It's about a missing child thought to have run away from home. According to the article, the parents went to check on their son at night, only to find him missing from his bedroom, with only the bedroom window left open. Ooh, so this, like... For those of you who know what I'm talking about, it's kind of like this take, takes place after the window next door. The parents insisted there was no reason for their son to run away, but the authorities found no forced entry or, str or struggle to signify an abduction. Missing child, this article is from nearly 10 years ago. You pick up the next article in the pile. Missing child, runaway, or abduction. It's another article about the missing boy. The one goes into detail about the investigation and how there were no signs of either abduction or the boy running away. The next article you pick up is distinctly bigger than the other ones. Oh, distinctively. A couple goes missing inside their own home. You read over the article. It's about the same couple with the missing child, except this time they were the ones who went missing. After not hearing from them for days, a relative went to check on the couple only to find no one home. Then the authorities went to investigate. However, they found that the house had been locked from the inside. The only thing open was the window of their missing son's room on the second floor. There's a picture of the house with the article, but looking at it only confirmed your suspicion. It was the house you're in right now. You check the date of the article. It was written just a few weeks after the first missing child one. You take a look at the other articles and they all seem to be about the missing couple or the child. The last one, however, is a small article about Furukawa Housing acquiring the house four years after the incident. According to the article, no one wanted to move in after it happened, so it was sold at a considerably smaller price. That explains why it was so cheap. 
At the bottom of the newspaper clippings pile, there's a handwritten note. Previous tenant. Disappeared without paying rent. Thought to be some kind of schemer or con artist. There's another pile of papers inside the safe. You put the news clippings back and grab the other pile. Aiko left me a message today that she wanted to stop by the house to say goodbye before she moved away, but I couldn't answer at the time. I should have told her to stay away. When I got home, no one was there, but her shoes were by the entrance and her bag was on the table. That window was open too. I think it took her. I can't tell this to anyone. They'll think I did something. It's true that I wasn't the best boyfriend, which is why she broke up with me in the first place. But we still had a lot of respect for each other, and I wished her the best at her new job. I swear, I could never do anything to her. She hadn't believed me when I told her about that thing. But still, I should have stopped her from ever stepping foot back in this house. Hmm. And now she's gone. It took her over there. I've blocked up the window now because it seems locking the room didn't do anything and tomorrow I'm getting the hell out and never coming back. I'll try to warn the agent who rented me this place, but I doubt he'll listen. What does he mean it took her? You read the notes again and again then one more time trying to make sense of everything. It's hard to make sense of it in a way that doesn't involve wild outlandish theories. You decide to put it away for the night. Maybe you can look it over tomorrow. No, fuck no. I'll go sleep on the fucking street. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? Fucking what? Ah, uh, motherfucker. Ah. Uh. It's not going to let me out, is it? My own footsteps scared the shit out of me. That's how jumpy I am. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, come on. Please let me out. I don't... I don't want to be here. I want to be here. I want to call Murasan. <laughs> Change my mind. I want to call Mama. Hello. Hey, Mom. Nami. Hi. How's the new house? It's fine. No, it isn't. What happened? It's just something happened last night. I think an animal got inside the house. An animal? What kind of animal? Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't know what it was. It was gone by morning. So you didn't see it? No, I was in bed already. Well, are you sure it wasn't a dream? Oh, no, no. I'm sure. The house is covered in dirty footprints and they came from an open window. I see. Well, maybe you should contact Animal Control and let them know there's a wild animal entering people's houses. I, I don't know if it got into other houses, Mom. Maybe it was just an accident. Still, don't forget to lock your windows tonight. Be safe, Nami. M Mom? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Nobody believes me? Nobody cares? I'm gonna die? <sighs> I don't even own a proper cutting knife. Can't even defend myself with one. Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to sleep. Can't go to sleep. Animal will eat me. Oh my god, the fucking window again! Same dark su substance is stuck to the lock. There are no footprints inside, however. The other window is open as well. <gasps> ah! ah! What the hell? What is this? I need to run. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck that noise. And you hastily leave the house, you ended up tripping on the sidewalk. You fell down on the ground, hitting your head against the pavement. Okay! At least I'm out of the fucking house! <laughs> you feel your consciousness fading away! Atsu- An? Atsura-san? Matsura-san! Oh, it's her. Matsuda-san? 
Matsuda-san, are you all right? I have no idea what happened in my accent just then. Oh, what? What are you doing out here? You're bleeding. I... Oh, don't, don't rush yourself. Are you all right? What happened? I, 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 I got the fuck out of that house. That's what the fuck happened. There was something in that house. I am moving. I'm never going back inside. You can keep all the shit that's in there. I don't care that I'm apparently going to have to take on debt. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> that's weird. Come now. We can talk inside. Let's get that wound taken care of. There, that should do it. It better not be, like, her husband or her kid or something, because I'm going to freak the fuck out. Thank you, Honda-san. Matsuda-san, what happened? Why were you laying in the street like that? I... tripped? You... tripped? Y yeah, I was running, then I tripped. Why were you running? Exercise? <laughs> there was something inside the house. Something? Your head feels fuzzy. You have an idea of what happened that made you run out of the house, but you're probably remembering it wrong. That blow to your head must have gotten things mixed up. There's no way you saw what you think you saw. I think it was an animal. I'm not quite sure. My head doesn't feel quite clear. That looked like it was a nasty blow. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? Yes, let's go to the hospital. You know what hospitals have? Beds. You know what else hospitals have? Not that animal. I'm fine, really. It wasn't that bad. I still think you should go. Things like this shouldn't be played with. I'll just... I'll go tomorrow. If I feel anything else, I'll be, I'll be fine, Honda-san. If you say so. Can I sleep here? Can I... Still, thank you. I insist you stay here for the night. Head wounds are no trivial matter. It's good to have someone watching over you. Oh, Honda-san, I don't want to oppose- Now is not the time for Japanese sensibilities, okay? I insist. I can't in all good conscience send you home alone like this. You want to argue that it's unnecessary that you feel fine, but at this point you're too tired to argue. I- Thank you, Honda-san. No, I'm not. I am not too tired to argue. I am okay with staying right the fuck here. <laughs> Matsuda-san, are you going already? Yeah... Are, are you sure you don't want to get that checked out? Or maybe maybe even stay a little longer? No, I should go. Truth be told, you don't really feel like going back home, but you don't want to overstay your welcome here either. You don't want to trouble Honda-san any further. Thanks for everything, Honda-san. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go live with Mom. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Shouldn't bother Honda-san again. I have no business over there. I have no business going back to this fucking house. You stop in front of the door. Your mind rushes back to the events of yesterday, or as much as you can remember, and you hesitate. There's no way you really saw that thing. Your head is just confused because of the blow it took, right? So why did you run out of the house yesterday? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come on, man. I do not want to go back in there. Why? Why? Why would anybody go back? I'm not going back. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Y'all can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We are now homeless and gonna fucking live on this goddamn street. Give me that thumbs up if you agree with us being homeless and living on the goddamn street because if he's not going the fuck back into that house, I don't give a shit that we left all those lights on, that we are running up the electricity bill. I don't care if it means that I'm gonna become a burden on my mom because I think she would rather me be a burden than dead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was Oh god, that was a mistake. Oh such a mistake!